morning on day 21st of May. We've had a great night camping here in the amazing landscape camping this is called. Um, it's the Yuxeg Church up there. Had a view of that last night. Here we have uh, Mount Hassan. I've seen that now a few times. It's actually a volcano. Um, 3,200 meters, something like that. So, oh, made us just packed away because I had some uh, more Iran documentation. Yeah. It's because I'm a British guy, I had lots of Iran paperwork to do. Now I have to do a full page CV today, that was nice. To spend time doing that today. And this guy here, he's got the life. Came down here with his cows half an hour ago. I was just taking it easy there. Yeah. That's the way to do it. So Meadow will just finish the last of the packing here. Um, and whole stuff is lying everywhere again. I'll just uh, Pack. go over to my bike now because hopefully it's ready to go. <laughs> it's good that Meadow and Jamie are trained as a professional Pack. professional world travellers now. So they just get on with it. We'll have to do paperwork and all kinds of things. So okay, now I think uh, I'm ready to sort out the last few things. Then we'll get on the road again today. So the next two days we're heading to Cappadocia. I think we're going to get halfway there today. And then once again, there's an underground city we can visit. I think it's supposed to be the biggest one, but uh, not sure where we can camp yet. We'll have to wait and see what we can find. So, okay, that was it from Amazing Camping. We'll uh, get back on the road now. Okay, on the road again. Should be downhill at first. It was a big uphill to Guzlo. We just have to backtrack four kilometers down the road here and then turn right and we're on the way to Cappadocia. Nice great countryside for the first part. Then we're heading to Derinko today. Oh, this is a nice cycling condition so far today. Perfect temperature, it's a little bit of sun, not too strong, nice temperature, probably about 20 degrees I think, something like that. Slightly downhill all the time, so we can just cruise along here. Extremely quiet roads and nice green countryside. Perfect. Jamie's ready for Cappadocia, I can see. He's all ready with his hot air balloon. In a few days we'll be seeing lots of those. Past any places where we could buy any lunch, so it's cornflakes and muesli. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we had some milk left over, we didn't chug that away. Haven't we seen this before today? Yes. It reminds me of something we had for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. We are now with the ring. Kuyo, I think it's called underground city. We are going down here. Um, you don't know how well people don't know how how old it is, whether it's four thousand years old or what. But uh, said that maybe thousand people could live down here and could be there six months at a time if they had enough food and everything with them. Uh, and they came down here if they were attacked by foreign soldiers. I think we just read as well, there's eight levels in this underground city. Yeah, and we can get 55 meters underground. Yeah, one of the biggest of its kind in this area. So yes. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. You ready for exploring? Okay. Headlamps on. Yeah. Let's go. This weather is quite narrow and cramped in some places, so if you're claustrophobic, it's not a good idea to come down here. <laughs> Let's see. We're going, going down quite deep now into the caves here. Must have been really depressing to spend long periods of 
time down here with no sunlight. Maybe you have seen Indiana Jones because so uh, they have a stone and so they tip this way and so it's like We're rolling and so, again. Yeah, and so no people can help you and you know to death. Well, the rooms where people might be being living are still going down the steps here. Well, this must be the Christian church part. This is in the form of a cross. Yeah. See? This oh, oops. You can see here. This break, this break, this break, this break. So, another large room here. I think we're pretty close to the surface. I can see sunlight up there. Okay, shall we go back up to the sunlight? sunlight? Yes. We Wait, managed to. Winery? Is that real? Wine yeah, you would need that down here to cheer yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> what is wine? Are they making wine? Uh -huh. Here. Oh no, there's 36 kilometers to Cappadocia. We're not sure now whether we're going to make a run for Cappadocia this evening or just go to the next town which is 10 kilometers away and stay there and just do the last little bit to Cappadocia tomorrow. We'll see uh, when we get to the next town what we feel like doing. Team meeting here in the restaurant 26 kilometers away from Cappadocia now so I think we're gonna have a quick bite to eat here. We have seen it as real camping sites there. Hmm. With swimming pools and you can see the hot air balloons not only my plastic uh, my hot air balloon real big air balloons. <laughs> so I think we um I think we'll just have something to eat now and then we'll see if we can get there today. In fact, we're planning to get there tomorrow, but now we'll have a late evening ride today. Maybe dog can make it put the tent up, but now we've eaten so we don't have to do anything else apart from put the tent up and sleep. Then we'll be in Cappadocia tomorrow. <laughs> and the thing is, sometimes this while camping, it takes a long time to find a place, so maybe it's, you know, that's what, 25 kilometers easier to go for the proper camping site, maybe when it's so close after all. Mm, yeah, yeah. We'll see what the right decision is. In terms of we can easily spend one hour just trying to find a wild campsite. If you know where the campsite is you just go for it and get there and put the tent up. So We'll uh, have something to eat and we'll be back on the road. Okay. Six o'clock in the evening, a couple of hours of daylight left. Let's see if we can get to Cappadocia. Already eaten so we don't have to spend time on that just to get there and get the tent up and tomorrow we are looking at hot air balloons. Emmy's setting a good speed now up a hill. This week we're going to be there in under an hour. <laughs> the great thing at this time of the evening, there's no wind or very, very little wind. 15 kilometers left. Nearly 3,000 kilometers on the biking computer here. Very close. 10 meters, I think. Yeah, and that's it. 3,000. 3, Now we're close to Cappadocia. Now <laughs> we know why this place is so famous. <laughs> okay, this place is some, looks like it's something taken out of a fairy tale. Okay, let's carry on and see what other amazements await us. <laughs> Just the most craziest landscape I've ever seen in my life.
of Green, that's where we're heading, where we're gonna be camping. What a sight. Okay, just entered the town boundary of Green. What a place this is going to be. to Cappadocia and Gorim. That's amazing. This is one of our main uh, highlights of the tour or goals of the tour to get here. Yeah, I was, didn't expect to get here today actually. I was planning to get here tomorrow. So yeah, we're staying here and uh, Gorim camping. It's actually a swimming pool and slides and things. But, uh, We'll see, not sure if this is the best place, but uh, we'll be here t t this evening. The scene is all different uh, quad tours, and it looks like horse riding as well, and hot air balloon trips you can take over the valley here. So let's uh, see, then we're going to spend uh, at least two, three days here, at, uh, having a kind of wits and holiday. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go and uh, have a little bit of a wash and a sleep, and then we'll get up tomorrow and have a look at this place. Yeah. 